Hello guys, in this video we are going to learn how to migrate a Git repository from GitHub into Azure repos. So what is the use case? Let's say that you are working in a project. So you are you are checking in the code, your team has you know, made a lot of code changes. So you have been working on this for past couple of years, right? So you also have a lot of history and whatnot. Your company have made a decision to move away from GitHub into any other Git based repository. In this case, let's take Azure Repos. So how do you migrate all your projects, which is you know hosted in GitHub into Azure Repos? That's exactly what we are going to learn in this short video. You can migrate in uh, many different ways. You can also write a script, which would uh, migrate all your repository uh, from GitHub into Azure Repos. Or you can also import your uh, existing repository from GitHub into Azure Repos using a manual import option, right? That's exactly what we are going to learn in this short video, okay? Awesome, so if you look at uh, my project, so this is my uh, repository, okay? So I just have only one branch. Actually, you know what? Let me pick up another another project where that should have some, some more branches, right? So let me pick up this one. So as you can see, this has like six branches, right? And then of course, I also have a lot of commits as well. So let's use this particular uh, repo, which is hosted in GitHub into Azure repos. So how do I do that? So yes, the prerequisites, yes, you need to have GitHub account, obviously. And then you also need to have uh, Azure DevOps dashboard created, right? So the way you can create is yes, you know, log into Azure DevOps and then you can create a project dashboard. When you create a project dashboard, it automatically creates, you know, uh, the default repositories and whatnot. But I have already created that. So this is my project dashboard, okay? So I want to migrate my project into Azure Repos, right? Which is actually part of the Azure DevOps dashboard. So how do I do that? So you need to first create a repository. The way to create a repository is go here and then click on new repository. So that is how you create. And then we need to give a name. So yeah, it's up to you. You can either give a same name or you can give a different name, but let me give the same name just to be uh, consistent. And then make sure you do not click on this option. So just create a empty repository without a readme file. Okay, so let's do that. Go ahead and then create it. So once you create it, you should see something like this, right? This clearly says that this is an empty repo and then add some code, okay? So the simple option is this is what we are going to do, right? We are going to click on this import repository option, okay? So click on import. And then we are going to provide the GitHub URL. So let's provide the GitHub URL here. And then we need to click on request authentication. Obviously, right, you know, we are going to uh, enter GitHub credential over here. So I'm going to provide my username. So that's my personal access token. So this is a GitHub personal access token. You can use personal access token or you can also use GitHub password as well. Okay, so that's all right. And then click on import. This may take uh, you know a minute or two depending on how, how much history you actually have. So this is pretty much done. And then you can click on repos here. There you go. Okay, wow, look at here. So this is the repository which, which we just imported. And then look at all the branches, whatever was there in our source repository. You see here, we had six branches here, and then we are also able to see those six branches as well. One, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? And then most importantly, uh, we are able to see all the code commits as well, right? So yeah, so that's it guys, you know, that's how you would uh, import your existing repository from GitHub into Azure repos. Thank you for watching this video.